More and more streetwear brands are now doing their own rendition of the World Tour shirt aesthetic, specifically the vintage kind with some heavy metal elements to it. So today I'm going to show you how to do that on Photoshop so that you can add this to your own clothing brand's next collection. Let's go. Yo, 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 what is good? It's your boy Dixon from Intuitive Designs. All right, a couple things before we begin. Make sure you download all the assets needed for this tutorial. So stuff like fonts, textures, etc. I've compiled them all into one folder. Link in the description below. And don't worry guys, it's all free. Next, I'm going to show you what we're going to create today. Here are two examples from my Instagram. So we got a huge headliner on top, an art piece in the middle as the focal point, and then some subtext below for the dates, venues, and more. That is the design structure that we will create today. Now to get the art for the center piece, we will be using AI. It is what it is, guys. I'm not going to argue with you if you're against it. AI is not going away anytime soon. The way I see it, why not use it to your advantage? The platform we'll be using is called Playground and everything we generate there is allowed for commercial use, meaning we're not infringing any kind of copyrights despite of what you hear about AI. Now that's out of the way, go to your browser, type in playground.com, sign up a new account if this is your first time. Once you're done, this is how the home page looks like. Next, go to the bottom left corner here, select your account, and then click on go to board and it'll open up a new window to where we will generate the images. So here we are. First, go to advanced settings on the bottom right corner, toggle on private session, then under the model drop down, select Playground V2.5. In my previous tutorial, I was using Stable Diffusion a lot, but now in my opinion, V2.5 is a bit better when it comes to achieving the aesthetic that I want. I haven't tried the new V3 yet. I'll do that on the next tutorial. Then go to Exclude from Image, select Custom, and just copy everything you see here. These are basically negative prompts, stuff that you don't want the AI to generate. But then again, it's not perfect, so the AI will only try to avoid these prompts. Next, select random for the C. Now we can go up top here and select two, three for the aspect ratio. Select fast for the speed and quality. Do nothing on image to image. As for number of images, I'm going to select 8, but if you're using a free account, you can only go up to 4, I believe. So go with the max amount that you can go. After that, do nothing to expand prompt. Lastly, go to the main tab here and select filter menu, this one, and click on photo realism. So this middle tab here is where we key in the prompts and the AI will turn them into images. So prompts are very, very important. They either make or break your results. So the prompt for today is a fallen angel laying on a grave in a dark fantasy oil painting, 1980s Excalibur aesthetic, somber, macabre, and then hit create. Give it a few seconds and there we go i'm actually quite surprised with how good these look on the first try i'm not gonna lie i'm happy to go with either of these but you know just in case let's give it a few more tries in case we get something better you know and if you're wondering what other prompts are out there you can download this pack from my store i've tested out and collected lots of them over the past few months and they are sick link in the description below Right now, the first thing you should focus on are the fingers and the facial features. They tend to get weird, so find one that's perfect or at least good enough. Now, let's say you find one that you like and uh, you want to grab it for the shirt design. So click on the action button here. Select upscale by four and then select subtle. It will then increase the resolution up to 4K. And here is a quick comparison. After that, just click the download button and we're good to go. Now, of course, you can play with the prompts and change the situation or the subject. So, for example, let's change it to night instead of angel and it will completely change the result. 
and you can also add more words to make it more specific so let's say a white knight instead of just knight and there you go the result changes again i'm gonna give it a few more tries guys once i find one that i like we'll move on to photoshop and start creating so now photoshop the file size is a tool which is 4961 by 7016 pixels at 300 dpi now first thing we're gonna do is unlock the background layer and rename it to bg after that bring your ai image into the working file by command c to copy it and then command v to paste and then command j to duplicate the art layer now this is just a precaution you know in case we mess up and then command g to group it and rename it to backup now we'll keep adding assets into this folder just to be safe right now convert the art layer to smart object size it up to about so now we're going to fade out the edges of the layer so that it fits better as a shirt design because obviously you don't want that square look so add a mask layer here and then using the soft round brush tool set the hardness to zero and both the opacity and flow to 100 foreground color to black and then just brush it around like this now the key to make it fade out naturally is you will want to use a smaller brush size so you can keep as much detail in the image and just enough to get rid of the sharp lines as well in my case the angel's wings on the top form this arch so i'm gonna use that as a guide now of course this could vary depending on your image after that let's adjust the colors by using a selective color so go to image adjustments and selective color now this step is optional though if you like the colors of your ai image then you can skip this part altogether my case i always want to add a yellow tinge to the image to make it look more vintage also color correct some of the colors but this is all just personal preference obviously for example the red on that angel's chest i'm not a fan of that shade i always prefer a more orangey red and as for the skin tone on the bottom figure it's too yellow so i'll add some brown to it to bring it to life but yeah guys you're gonna have to adjust this part yourself you want to do this there's no specific settings for this one since it varies depending on image to image once you're happy with the colors select the art layer and the background layer option command e to merge it into one not command e right then convert it to smart object now we can start adding some filters so go to filter filter gallery and then apply these two filters which is grain and paint doubts now the first one is the grain filter select clump for the grain type and set it to 50 for both intensity and the contrast the second filter is the paint doubts select white blurry for the brush type three for brush size and two for sharpness and then just hit ok now to print a shirt design obviously we want to make the background transparent so to do that we're going to get rid of all the black color in this image by using color range so just go to select color range and under the select drop down select shadows set the fuzziness to zero and then the range to 25 take on invert and then hit ok after that something like this will happen and then just add a mask layer and there we go now this method only works when you're printing on a black or dark shirt lastly we're going to duplicate the smart layer again just to be safe apply that mask layer and then convert it to smart object again before we move on to text now the hard part is done moving on to the text the first one we're doing is the headline logo of course now hit t on your keyboard to activate the type tool and then find the font called dragon slapper that you guys downloaded earlier size it up all the way to 300 now i'm gonna give it a name whatever you want guys i'm going with ruins now don't copy me on this one guys this tutorial is for you to learn the technique not copy everything i do especially when it comes to names or slogans stuff like that 
right so same as before duplicate the font layer drag it to the backup folder convert it to shape command t and then size it up some more go to the warp settings here and under the drop down select bulge and then just drag it inwards like so command t one more time and now let's drag it vertically making the text taller last step is right click and then select perspective drag the bottom right corner outwards like so to create that angle look giving the text more dynamic next let's change the text color by going to the fill setting here and just color pick whatever you want in my case i'm picking this orange tone from the angel's chest then i'm gonna add a stroke to the text and i'm gonna color pick this somewhere over here set the size to 30. now as for the stroke option you're gonna want to go with center for the line and then the first one for both the caps and the corners right now since the text is covering the angel's face i'm gonna bring it back up by using the mask layer so add a mask layer set the brush to hard round and then just go about it like so this is of course optional if your text is covering your subject then do it if not then just skip this part I'm not gonna spend too much time on this guy since we're on a tutorial so i'm just gonna go over it quickly for now moving on to the subtext i'm gonna use the font micro gamma and then type in something random like of dark bloom again guys don't copy this part next we're gonna do the world tour sign select the font california and then type world tour make sure you stack it this way and then adjust the leading to about so after that drag it horizontally and then rotate it to about so and then just put it wherever you like now let's change the color of the world toward text to the same orange in ruins lastly for the bottom section i'm going to use micro gamma again for the font but this time we're going to size it down a bit to give the one on top more priority now just type in something random like the cities venues um, dates uh, very basic stuff guys um, i hope i don't have to explain this part to you but yeah you can see just how simple it is basically just type in whatever you want again for this tutorial i'm going to type something random and i'll fix them in post afterwards we'll close this section up by adding a slogan on the bottom just type again just type in something random that fits the theme of the design and there we go now one final step is adding a crack weather texture to really sell that vintage um, aesthetic we'll do that by using the texture that you guys downloaded earlier now drag it into the working file turn the layer off now group both the text and the art layers into one let's rename that to assets after that command click on the texture layer to bring up the selection add a mass layer and then command i to invert it and now we're done now usually they put this graphic on the back of the shirt and something much more smaller and minimal for the front usually just a small logo on the left chest area so for that we'll reuse the same headline logo and then the world to a text nothing too crazy for this print guys just need some minor adjustments which i'm confident that you guys can handle pretty much done all guys let me finalize everything and show you guys the final result That is it for today guys hope you learned something new from this tutorial next week i'll be creating a new updated represent shirt design tutorial if you want to see that please let me know in the comments below i'll be a lot more active from now on i promise you so yeah subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos follow me on all my socials see you on the next one